In a world obsessed with external validation and material possessions, it's easy to lose sight of what truly matters. We chase fleeting pleasures, seeking happiness in things that ultimately leave us empty. But true freedom, as the Stoics teach us, is not found in the acquisition of more, but in the mastery of self. Epictetus and Manly P. Hall, two towering figures of wisdom, guide us on this path toward inner peace and liberation. They remind us that the key to a meaningful life lies not in controlling the world around us, but in mastering our inner landscape. This journey demands courage, discipline, and a deep understanding of natural law. Epictetus, in his profound wisdom, stated, We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. How often do we allow our minds to be consumed by anxieties about the future, by worries that often never materialize? This is the very essence of unnecessary suffering. The Stoic path offers a powerful antidote. Focus on what you can control, your thoughts, your actions, your responses. These are the domains of your true power. Everything else, the vast expanse of the external world, lies beyond your direct influence. Manly P. Hall echoes this sentiment, emphasizing the importance of mindfulness and gratitude. These practices anchor us in the present moment, reminding us of the abundance that surrounds us and breaking the grip of future anxieties. By cultivating a present-centered awareness, we dismantle the illusion of control over the uncontrollable and embrace the serenity of accepting what is. The desire to control others is a subtle yet pervasive form of tyranny, both for the one seeking control and the one being controlled. It stems from a deep-seated insecurity, a belief that our own worth is contingent upon our ability to manipulate and dominate those around us. Epictetus reminds us, no man is free who is not master of himself. True freedom begins with self-mastery, with the recognition that our own inner world is the only realm over which we have true sovereignty. Manly P. Hall advocates for leadership through inspiration, not coercion. True influence arises not from force, but from the genuine respect for the autonomy and individuality of others. When we release the need to control, we create space for authentic connection, for relationships built on mutual respect and understanding. This is the foundation of healthy relationships, the bedrock of a harmonious social existence. Ambition in its purest form is a noble aspiration, a drive to achieve and excel. However, like any powerful force, it can become destructive when unchecked. Epictetus warns, wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. The Stoic path emphasizes the importance of moderation, of finding a balance between striving and contentment. True wealth lies not in the accumulation of material possessions, but in the cultivation of inner peace and the appreciation of life's simple pleasures. Manly P. Hall reminds us that life is not solely about achievement. It is about finding a rhythm that sustains us, a balance between work and leisure, between striving and stillness. When our ambitions are rooted in self-knowledge and a commitment to balance, they become a source of fulfillment rather than a driver of discontent. The allure of materialism is a powerful force in our modern world. We are constantly bombarded with messages telling us that happiness lies in the acquisition of more, more possessions, more status, more experiences. But Epictetus offers a counter-narrative. He who is not satisfied with a little is satisfied with nothing. True contentment is not found in the endless pursuit of material wealth, but in the appreciation of what we already have. Manly P. Hall encourages us to enrich our spirits rather than our bank accounts. He reminds us that true wealth lies in the cultivation of wisdom, compassion and inner peace. Decluttering our lives, both physically and mentally, is a crucial step on the path to freedom. By letting go of excess possessions, we free ourselves from the burden of ownership, the constant worry and anxiety that comes with clinging to things. In our fast-paced, achievement-oriented society, rest and relaxation are often viewed as luxuries, as indulgences that we can ill afford. But Epictetus reminds us that freedom is the only worthy goal in life. True freedom includes the freedom from the tyranny of our own relentless striving, the freedom to step away from the pressures of daily life and allow ourselves to simply be. Rest and rejuvenation are not luxuries. They are essential for our physical, mental and spiritual well-being. 
Manley P. Hall emphasizes the importance of balancing work with leisure. He recognizes that our creative energies are replenished when we allow ourselves time for rest and renewal, taking time for nature, for music, for activities that bring us joy. These are not frivolous pursuits, they are essential components of a balanced and fulfilling life. When we step away from the demands of our daily routines, we create space for peace, clarity and inspiration to emerge. Life, with all its complexities and contradictions, can often feel overwhelming. We take ourselves and our problems so seriously, forgetting that much of what we worry about is ultimately trivial. Epictetus reminds us it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. A sense of humor is a powerful tool for navigating life's challenges. It allows us to take a step back, to see the absurdity of our own self-importance, and to approach our problems with a lighter heart. Manly P. Hall urges us to laugh with others, not at them. Humor, when used with kindness and empathy, can be a powerful force for connection. Laughter is a medicine for the soul, a way to release tension and to find joy in the midst of life's inevitable ups and downs. Meaning and purpose are essential for a fulfilling life. Without direction, we drift aimlessly, susceptible to the whims of fate, Epictetus advises. First say to yourself what you would be and then do what you have to do. Define your values, articulate aspirations, and align actions with purpose. Goals provide direction, a reason to get up, and a framework for choices. Living with purpose brings fulfillment beyond external achievements. Compassion is the cornerstone of ethical living, the foundation of a just and harmonious society. Epictetus warns, do not do to others what angers you if done to you by others. This is the golden rule, a principle that transcends cultures and religions, a universal truth that speaks to the interconnectedness of all beings. Treating others with kindness, respect and integrity is not only a moral imperative, but also a path to inner peace. Manly P. Hall reminds us that true strength lies not in retaliation, but in responding to harm with dignity and grace. Forgiveness is not a sign of weakness, but a sign of courage, the courage to let go of anger and resentment and to choose compassion instead. When we practice forgiveness, we break the cycle of violence and create space for healing and reconciliation. By aligning our actions with the principle of non-harm, we contribute to the creation of a more peaceful and compassionate world. Anger is a powerful and destructive emotion, a force that can consume us and cloud our judgment. Epictetus says any person capable of angering you becomes your master. When we allow ourselves to be ruled by anger, we relinquish our freedom and become slaves to our own emotions. Manly P. Hall emphasizes the importance of mindfulness, self-control and emotional regulation as antidotes to anger. By cultivating a sense of inner calm, we develop the capacity to observe our emotions without being swept away by them. This allows us to respond to challenging situations with wisdom and composure, rather than reacting impulsively. By mastering our anger, we protect our relationships from its destructive force. We create space for understanding, for communication and for resolving conflicts constructively. Taking responsibility for our own mistakes is a cornerstone of personal growth. Epictetus says, if you want to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid. This is a call to humility, to recognize that we are all fallible and that making mistakes is an inevitable part of the learning process. When we blame others for our own shortcomings, we abdicate responsibility for our own growth. Manly P. Hall suggests embracing self-reflection and forgiveness as essential tools for personal development. By honestly examining our own actions and motivations, we gain valuable insights into our own patterns of behavior. This self-awareness is the first step towards making positive changes in our lives. A clear conscience, born of taking responsibility for our actions, allows us to move forward with confidence and integrity. The Stoic path is a journey toward inner freedom. Freedom from the tyranny of external circumstances, from the insatiable hunger for more, and from the turbulent waves of our own emotions. Epictetus reminds us that true liberty resides within, in the choices we make, in the thoughts we cultivate, and in the responses we offer to the world around us. We transcend the limitations of materialism and discover the art of living. 
True mastery lies in self-control, in the cultivation of gratitude and in the pursuit of wisdom.